Shade Blade 57. Let's play. Uh, hey guys, Shade Blade 57 here. Um, we're back from a follow-up. Before when we left off, we got through a slog that was a recording session of being constantly under punishment conditions. And yeah, we're back here to go save um, Nick Valentine. I will specify. This recording session will be a shorter one. I can only go for about an hour or so. I'm sort of strapped for time t today, so yeah. Uh, off screen though, I went through and did a bit of um, I looted some some of sanctuary. I forgot to level up at the end of the last thing as well. But uh, yeah, I looted sanctuary. I also did uh, some weapon upgrades. So I focused. Uh, Institute Rifle now has a reflex sight instead of the scope, so it's better in closer quarters. That's all I did to that thing, honestly. But our hunting rifle is very different. It has a longer barrel, dot sight, larger clip, no ammo, but whatever. I'll get ammo for it. As well as an actual stock, so. As well as it's, like, our most powerful weapon now. Because I have to do a, uh, the strongest to see if I could get. That's a up, uh, I guess. But I was doing perception to get lock picking. I will need armor. I think I can get gun mine too. Okay. Let's do locksmith. Alright. I didn't do any upgrades to the short pipe rifle or pipe rifle or even the pistol due to the fact that fairly soon, we're getting to the levels now we're gonna start running into things that are much better than these like out of the pipes things or actually you'll find assault rifles and things like that so no I'm gonna build up the rest of my ammo supplies so I'm just gonna use the institute rifles for, right, for a little bit but let's go save Nick. Because I'm wasting enough time as is. And I only have like an hour to record. Because then I gotta pretty much like. Do a ton of other things today. But then go to work. Because. Yeah. I work. I have to pay the bill somehow. But here's the thing, like unless I set up a dedicated sniper rifle, I will always just use like a reflex sight. He caught that detective snooping around and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the ball. Time to put you on ice. Wow, that's actually. I took a lot of damage from that. I'm wearing my armor, so. Yes, also in my looting of uh, Sanctuary, I got a good amount of food. Which is really good. Take right away to get rid of that radiation I have built up. Right. Uh, compressed heavy tendril pistol. Sure, it's better than the one I have. Oops, wrong button. Um, what's in the trash can? Nothing. That's an aluminum can. I like those. Honestly, when it comes to weapon upgrades at the moment, oh crap! The uh, what I need more than anything else is still aluminum and um, screws. Which, I mean, I know of a. If I need screws, I can get a bunch of them easily, I think. Because, like... Um, the Cambridge Police Station, where we run in, where we have the Brotherhood guy, where the Brotherhood guys are at, is just full of, uh, there's a lot of, um... I can get an SMG. Sure, I'll pick up an SMG. 
It's full of uh, handcuffs, and handcuffs are a good source of screws. And a TV dim tray is a source of aluminum. Hooray. Cap stash. I don't care about the subway tokens. Alright. Don't care about the terminal. I will definitely lock this because I just see a cap stash at the window and I break a bobby pin. Come on. Damn it. Come on. This is only a novice lock. There you go. Got it. Looks like luck is not on my side today. Which is not good. Because I like it when luck's on my side. Very rarely is. But I do like it when it is. Trust me, anyone who knows me when playing like D&D &D or something like oh, Dice Rolls do not like me. Like I'm not quite like Will Wheaton levels of bad rolling, but... You know, those aluminum cans. But I am pretty bad, like... Out of the group, I am the Nat 1 King. However... As I said, it's not where we bet levels of bad, like... Generally... In, like... I usually get almost as many, if not as many, um... Nat 1s that I do... 20s, maybe like a couple more ones in 20s, so. It's just compared to the rest of the guys, I get a lot more ones than they do. But just in general, I tend to roll low on D20s, like, not really not ones as much as just like, just can't get above a 10 basically. So I gen if I play D and D and stuff like that, I generally my characters that are much uh, f more focused on like getting as many bonuses to hit as possible and stuff like that, or bonus heavy characters. I'm surprised none of these guys have been legendary so far. Good. This is also going to give me a ton of 10 mil and 45 ammo, which is good. Apparently if I wanted to, I could also take all these 10 pistols and scrap them. Because if I do that, that's the source of screws. I wonder what I could get from scrapping the SMG. I'm going to find out. And I will find out later. Because I know that currently if I scrap a 10 mil pistol, it gives me one screw and like three steel or something like that. Which I mean, it's not bad. Not exactly great, uh, like, material to weight of item ratio, but, I mean, it's not bad. I only know this off the top of my head because I just, like, pretty much right before I started the recording, uh, I went, I is when I did all the looting and upgrading, so, like, and I scrapped a couple of 10 mil pistols during that time, so it's about a. It's still fresh in my head. By next recording session, I guarantee I'll have forgotten everything about that. They'll be like, I can get screws from that? Awesome! And I'll look really stupid. But I always make myself look really stupid anyway, so no harm, no foul. Hey, a quantum. Give it a quantum. Why did nobody take that quantum so far? They're not exactly... Like, quantums aren't exactly hidden. Like, they glow. That guy here literally just yells, Spray and pray. I realize that's not a strategy that actually works.